Welcome to Viscom here at Protronica. Uh, delighted to be joined by Carsten Saluski. Great to see you again, Carsten. Trevor, thanks. Yeah, good to see you too. I think we went to the same tailor. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we look good. <laughs> so, so anyway, lovely booth, very big booth this year. Uh, so lots of new things, I believe, to talk about. So uh, take it away and tell us what's new. Yeah, no, thank you. I think Protronica this year is a great show. Then it has all the opportunities to be a very, very good show after a long time. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, we are well prepared. We show uh, actually a new line of uh, AOI systems. Mm -hmm. We already introduced the first one at SMT. This is the V-Connect that you brought mm -hmm. out. So. Yeah, that's that's the software with it. Right. But the IS6059 family mm -hmm. uh, came with the PCB Inspection Plus first, and now we added all the other uh, machines to it. So it okay. totally replaces our former line of uh, AOI systems uh, for THT inspection, SPI, and then, very new this time, uh, we show it uh, for the first time, is a double-sided inspection in 3D. Very fast, very accurate, so one of the most capable uh, double-sided inspections. So simultaneous inspection, top and bottom, you know, for THT and other component inspections, solder joint inspection, right. everything. So, so what, what sort of features does the new platform actually bring in? Uh, the old platform. Yeah, first of all, it's it's much faster than the previous uh, generation. Mm -hmm. So it's about 25% faster on average. Okay. And uh, this comes with a new camera system. So we redesigned our XM camera module family. Mm -hmm. You know, we have, uh, they're all 3D, but they have different resolutions. And uh, now we, we have a larger field of view, which leads to faster cycle times. Right. And the new system family is built on a new frame, mm -hmm. which not only looks good, but also um, has more similar parts, you know, between even the AOI and AXI series. Uh, we use uh, similar components, makes it much easier with uh, spare parts and so on. So a lot of incentives um, actually to, to, to go with the new line of yeah, AOI systems. Make it a lot easier, certainly for, for for you, for manufacturing, for keeping lead time shorter and mm. things like that. Yeah, it's all fully connected. You mentioned vConnect. vConnect is our portal for, um, you know, for the customer with a single sign-on to reach all, you know, r reasonable or, or important actually uh, connections to us. First of all, you get machine data mm -hmm. uh, via web interface. You get uh, overview of all the machine performances, mm -hmm. also used for predictive maintenance. Okay. Then we have um, service uh, portal. So if you have uh, any uh, spare part needs or service issues, mm -hmm. you can open a ticket online, you know, in the same same program pretty much that you're on, which also leads to, um, you know, you can always monitor where where are my parts, what's what's happening. Right. right. Then so really widen the, the, the capability yeah. of the whole software platform. It's it's uh, all integrated now for for the user experience, you know, with the new Vision mm -hmm. uh, version. We we are about to launch version 4.0, which is uh, which offers a, more new features yep. and also easier programming, easier calibration, and everything. Because we know ease of use and the user experience is most important. Right. That's what we focus on in the past, you know, 12 to 18 months, mm -hmm. and we really show a lot of new features here that uh, will be great for the customers. Right, well, I mean, he, he, ease of use and is, is extremely important. You know, but one of the other big things that's been, is coming into the industry, of course, is AI. Yes, uh, AI, AI yep. is. And uh, so, I mean, I know that you're using AI in your systems. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you're employing AI as, as a tool. So I think AI, you know, first of all, AI is used for programming. AI is used for image processing, segmentation, and, uh, and image processing. And then we use AI for post verification as an assistant to the operator. Right. So it pretty much assists the operator with making the right decision. Is this a real defect or is this something that I allow? And we can we can really reduce uh, false alarm rates with that we, and we, we definitely reduce uh, missed defects. So how does that work? I mean, you, you're, you're following the operator uh, over a period of time, looking at the decisions they're making, verifying these decisions are the correct decisions and then building them into a program that helps to shortcut some of the work that they're doing to make things faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so so AI is trained for you know all the, the uh, components and everything. And uh, the operator, first we started with an assistant that made a suggestion. So if the operator makes an obvious or even a subtle mistake and say, okay, I allow this, and the AI model behind it has a certain probability that this is a wrong decision, it alerts the operator and say, Please look at that again, so that we, uh, the, you know, don't have any 
any uh, slip through. Just our verification zone. It's it's on the verification station. This leads actually to the the AI models are so well trained that they can do most of the uh, decisions itself. Mm -hmm. So the operator can actually decide, okay, do the simple stuff by by one click. Yeah. He can still monitor it, but 80% of whatever is shown to the operator is uh, is classified right away. And now we only have the you know the the critical parts where we still want the operator involved right. but it's not far that you know our customers will allow ai to do everything right. but that's um, that's also it's, it's certainly a question of safety so how, what, what happens right so how do you see the, the the trend going forward for inspection generally because it seems to be expanding its role uh, mm -hmm. throughout the, the production uh, process i mean for example into the box build where which is always previously a very manual uh, area. Yeah, uh, for example, with our double-sided inspection, this really goes into that direction. Mm -hmm. We see a lot of high power, um, high voltage applications that uh, have heavy duty, uh, you know, complete devices to be inspected. And this also fits into our AXI uh, developments. So we have device inspection. We do that for a long time, uh, where we look at uh, tablets and, and uh, phones and, and other boxes right. that, uh, that are finished and, um, and inspect with X-ray at the end of it. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a new um, AXI faster CT, computer tomography, mm -hmm. here, which is, uh, we call it E6, Evolution 6. Okay. And it, it really has meaning. I mean, Evolution 1 was just, you know, you look top down and then angular, and then you start with the 3D. And this one is a really fast 3D AXI, which is used for, you know, um, telecommunication boards, data processing boards, computer boards, and everything full like that. CT with it? Full CT, yes. Yeah. Yeah, in in real time, so you know, even if it's only thirty seconds, right. you have uh, you have full three D information, yeah. and that's that's the way it's going. So AOI is three D, AXI is three D. Well, I think AXI is, is critical nowadays because there's so many bottom terminated components. You, it's yeah. the only way you're going to be. That's right. So uh, mainly the also for the high high voltage or high current applications, it's uh, void inspection. Void inspection is is uh, very critical in uh, most of the you know the uh, automotive uh, electromobility parts. Mm -hmm. That's that's a lot. Um, we we also have a lot of applications at the back end of semiconductor. Mm -hmm. So where you have uh, IGBTs, for example, that that needs to be inspected if they have a good connection to, um, to the heat sinks and so on. Yeah. So there's, there's a lot happening, also in advanced assembly. We see all the new technology that comes with the CHIPS Act and advanced assembly. We see 3D uh, packaging applications more and more, and our new AOI uh, and AXI series are also focused on the higher resolution, even down to one micron per pixel. So, well, okay, so that's you taking, taking me down into the semiconductor in, industry. Yes. Uh, is that an area that you're looking to expand more into? Yes, yeah. for sure. We already do. So we have, uh, we have a team in, in Taiwan and in Singapore. Uh, we see a lot of things happening in Europe, which is good. Yeah. Um, and uh, there will be a lot of uh, semiconductor production built here. But, you know, the whole environment, that's important. That, that's not only make the chip here and ship it overseas. Right. It will be, I guess, uh, more packaging, more advanced packaging. Maybe a few years or five to ten years down the road, we'll see a model, lot more of that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Certainly, a lot's happening, Carson. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's always to see you at the forefront. Great to see you at the forefront of it. And I see you've got a, a great new young team coming through. So, uh, yeah, uh, no, we're definitely building for the future. We're doing well. I mean, uh, it's another growth year. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not easy in, in this environment uh, with all the global turmoil and and changing. But. Um, uh, supply chains are getting better. Yep. Uh, we, we are very innovative. We have a lot of new things. Everything's new. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is how I think we can still continue to grow in, in tougher environment. And I think the outlook is pretty bright. Yeah. Well, that's great to see. You know, and, uh, uh, you know, thank you for sharing some of that with us today. Thank you, Trevor.